the vlog. Chuck, say hi. Chuck says hi. Uh, so, today is Tuesday the something. Not too sure. The 7th. So today on the schedule, I don't have hurdles. Um, so if you've been watching the vlog for a while, you'd be like, oh, you're running hurdles this morning. So tomorrow I have a little mini meet. So tomorrow I have a little mini meet. Um, so I'm running hurdles and throwing shot put. So instead of doing hurdles today, I'm doing hurdles tomorrow in competition. So this morning um, I had it off which is nice to like sleep in. So now I'm just getting ready to go to Maria's. So we're still like training through. You wouldn't really like peak for this or like temper for this. It's just like one run in hurdles and six shot puts. And then after Maria's over at RevCon, then going to the track to do some jab work. And then yeah, not too, too much because I don't want my arm to get sore for tomorrow. And then that's like it. So I have a 15 minute run. So I might do that tomorrow after the meet, uh, just cause they really tire me out. Um, and yeah, I just don't want to be super, super tired for tomorrow. I just want to feel like kind of fresh for it. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to have like a little bit of a snack, maybe a bagel. And then I'm going to head over to Maria's. It's going to be the same lift as you guys already saw so i'll try to get different angles so it's a little bit more interesting but yeah and i don't think it's gonna rain so you guys should be able to see more jab than you did last time so yeah let's get the snack going p.s that's our wedding cake um that we still haven't eaten but i think you eat it on like a one year anniversary, so hopefully it lasts that long. So I need to eat this really quickly because I didn't realize what time it is. It's 2.44, I lift at 3.30, so I'm gonna go pack my stuff and yeah, I'd get ready and head out the door because I wanted to leave in like three minutes, so. Whoopsies! All right, and we're off. Sorry if this becomes a little bit shaky, but it's just on my phone. So while I'm driving to Revolution Conditioning to lift, um, I thought this was a good time to like talk to you guys about one of the questions that we had on the two vlogs ago. Um, somebody just asked what, come on, um, what our reps and sets are like for lifting. So it kind of depends on the phases that we're in and where we are in the season. So right now we really only do two, three, four sets of exercises. So the major exercises are like cleans, single leg squats, maybe hex bar, um, like some type of press for upper body. So we only actually do like three sets of three or four reps because you're trying to get the most explosive you can at this point in the year. Um, in more base season, you're kind of doing more like endurance-y kind of work. So that's endurance on the track or in the parks or wherever you're running and also endurance in the gym. So it's a lot like slower tempo, higher reps. So you're just trying to build that like tendon strength and the strength in your muscles. And then when you progress through the season, um, you try to get a little bit more explosive. So it's higher weight, but lower reps. And then in the preseason, kind of start of the season, it's more higher reps, lower weights. So the workload is a little bit longer. I can do a whole video about like the training cycles that we kind of go through with like running, technical, lifting and stuff like that. If you guys wanted to see that video, let me know below and I can sit down and like bring out the old whiteboard and kind of go through it. 
uh, but hopefully that kind of answers your question. Okay, I made it here on time, thank God, 20 after. So we had a poll going on to who likes uh, pizza, Hawaiian pizza. Obviously everybody likes pizza, but Hawaiian pizza, so we'll see what the total's at. Hopefully it's still going. So, is the pizza still going? It is. Oh no. Actually, yes. I thought Buddy was going to just keep going until they got like a second ahead. This is just. Okay, and that's it for the gym session. Felt good. Um, I'll explain to you like the cleans in the car because I don't want to talk outside because I'm still nervous. Um, but yeah, off to the track now just to do some uh, javelin with John. And it looks pretty nice out, so you guys should see the whole practice. And we are back in the car. Took like two seconds. Um, so, I don't know if you guys noticed the like iPad thingy. I'll try to see if I can find a clip of it. But so the iPad, there is like a speedometer force thingy. I don't know what it's called on the actual bar that we put there. And what it does is it measures, it calculates the amount of plates on it. So you say like I was at 205 and then it calculates how much power by how fast it moves um, that you're generating. So we use it as like a way of keeping the actual um, force up. So let's say I go into the gym, I'm feeling kind of dead. I put 205 on it and we see the force generated while cleaning is like way down from last week. Then we know that we can just put the weight down to like 195 just to keep that power up and then if I can do that then try to do 205 for three sets again to get the power as high as possible. So it's just like kind of knowing um, how much your body's putting into it so all the data if you can track it then that's better for like any type of exercise um, and yeah. So the plan today is to work on the penultimate. So we're going to start with uh, the skipping ones and then we're going to move into the like just crossovers, easy crossovers and then I'm assuming just go to like full throws. But these are just the first couple so just getting the arm warmed up and then just trying to get that good penultimate.
right, everybody. Um, so I thought I could take this time to just kind of explain to you what I am talking about when uh, I'm saying a good penultimate, because it doesn't really make sense in javelin for some people. So, so these are the top German javelin throwers. So I'm just going to show you kind of what um, a good penultimate looks like. So right here is where they really focus on driving off of their legs. So you can see that air time right here. Um, on their left, it's way behind them. They're way up in the air, and then they're really sweeping that right leg through. Um, and then they just come off of it so well that they're able to land with their right foot kind of still in front of them and like lower their base. So it's kind of like long jump of a long left and then short right and then long left again, if that kind of makes sense. Or like uh, you're getting off your right leg faster back onto your left. So yeah, they just really hold it and then they just really push into that left leg. So that's what I'm saying. This is just a front angle of C. They're just really pushing off of that left and then able to just kind of land on that right and get right back onto the left. Um, obviously, it's a little bit different for them because they're professional javelin throwers, but you can take the technique from them. Um, and this is uh, Thomas Ruler, I believe his name is. Um, he is a smaller guy, as in not as muscular, but he's very fast and very elastic and very quick. So you can see him coming down the runway, and his penultimate isn't as high as the others so you can just see that he just pushes more forward but again he's still hitting the same positions really pushing off of that left and getting his hips way forward and then he's able just to get his right foot down kind of in front of him and really push back onto that left so when I say I need to just get back onto my right and not paw it down or get up on my left, this is what I'm saying. So you can see here in my throw, um, it's kind of hard to see with this angle. The angles weren't the greatest today, but you can see my right foot is just kind of landing a little bit behind me. And the previous throwers, their right foot was just kind of landing in front of them so they can really push on to their left. So my foot just kind of goes behind me and then I can't really do anything onto my left. So you can see here with Thomas, he really pushes, just kind of holds that in the air. And then he just gets his right foot down a little bit in front of him and then just whacks it right back onto the left. Um, but that is it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you guys enjoyed a video like this, just kind of saying what I'm thinking about and a little bit more tips, then uh, just comment below and I can make more videos of this. Uh, for the other events and kind of explain what we're trying to look for in all of our throws, jumps, sprints. So yeah, I hope you guys had a good day and I will see y'all in the next one competing tomorrow. So good competition vlog coming your way and yeah, have a good one. Bye.